Yo, how's it going? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about Gear 6 and of course Hellblade 2. Now there's been a lot of rumors going around Gear 6, when it's going to appear, when are we going to see it and people have been you know looking forward to what coalition have been you know cooking up since their last expansion which was pretty much last gen and it was kind of updated for this gen. Now not much has been revealed about Gear 6 until this week. Now, Jeff Grubb has actually said, now this is obviously, you know, tinfoil hat, that it has a chance at appearing at this year's June showcase. Now, that is huge. We are expecting this game to be massive. Coalition are the masters of when it comes to utilizing Unreal Engine. So I am expecting really, really big things from them. Gear 6 is one of those franchises, especially after Gears 5 and the way Gears 5 ended, it kind of gave you a choice on how you want the story to go. It's going to be interesting in how Gear 6 pushes that narrative, and if it's actually going to look at your save file and decide which one it's going to actually progress with, that would actually be really interesting. Or is it just going to default to which character you save and which character you let perish? Either way, I'm super excited. Gears 5 was very safe. And that was probably my only critique about it. It looked gorgeous. But Gear 6 is supposed to be pretty much a flagship title. And it's supposed to, you know, be center stage. And I'm hoping it actually is. And if we're looking on screen right now at what Shinobi602 said, he's he quoted, those are some beautiful screenshots, such a stunning looking game. And I believe this was in reference to Hellblade 2. And he said, wait until you see gears people aren't ready now i am expecting really really huge things here from coalition i know they can master that unreal engine 5 maybe i mean at, at this point i am expecting them to be able to utilize that 60 fps or provide us a performance mode for it so hopefully we will get to see that as well in this game because you know xbox has been dropping the ball a little bit with that 60 fps performance and i do get it unreal engine 5 is very demanding very taxing and i don't know of any game that's using unreal engine 5 at the moment that's pushing the fidelity as far as the games are pushing right now especially on the scale of say um hellblade 2 where they're on consoles they're able to hit 60 i don't think there's one so clearly they've been pushing those boundaries but gear 6 apparently is supposed to be even better it's supposed to be even grander and look much much better so i am really excited for that of course i wanted to talk about hellblade 2 as well in this video because there's still a bit of discourse going around i've seen a couple of videos from other influencers who are extremely upset at the performance of hellblade 2 now i actually went back and tried hellblade the original last night at 30 fps and honestly it, it actually played re it actually played fine now that's not me capping on this or that's not me just kind of trying to sugarcoat it or downplay it it actually did play fine i obviously saw the difference between 30 and 60 there's no denying that but it's not like it was unplayable it was fully playable and it looked great it isn't like the situations where we've had recently with say final fantasy 16 or final fantasy uh, 7 rebirth where the performance mode though it's there and in all fairness at least they have a choice whereas we don't it wasn't exactly great that said though i'm still playing final fantasy 16 in performance mode so that should give you an indication of you know how some people are i mean i am partially blind so at the end of the day it's a win-win for me that said though hellblade 2 looks amazing graphically i don't think i've seen anything on that scale just yet i don't think i've seen anything on that level ever i mean alan wake 2 probably comes close but I don't know. I mean, Alan Wake 2 blew me away. I'm a big Alan Wake fan, and that game absolutely just, you know, redefined what they can do uh, with graphics fidelity, storytelling. It was just a marvel to play. And now that we've seen Hellblade 2 looking this good, this amazing, I'm blown away. And you're telling me that Gear 6 is even better? Gear 6 is going to you know blow me <laughs> blow the water off of hellblade 
two? Are you serious right now? Is that what you're trying to tell me, Shinobi? Is that the information, the hype that you're trying to build for me? You know, I, when he says people aren't ready, I really hope that <laughs> this is real because uh, I'm excited for this. Now, obviously, Jeff Grubb has said that Gear 6 is going to be at the June Showcase, so that's already got me even more excited. I really, really hope that there's no disappointment in it not turning up. I'm really expecting this to actually be there and hoping to see what Coalition has been cooking. Games are taking far, far, far too long to actually develop, and it's take you know the window between getting games is getting wider and wider. And, you know, you have to marvel at how some of these companies... Uh, studios are releasing games pretty much on a bi-yearly cadence but hopefully the what you know the time it's taken for Hellblade 2 is going to be worth it because it just looks phenomenal and just watching the trailers the or the videos the gameplays clips that have been going about I am I am super on board whether it's playing it on the Series X or on my PC I'm going to try both because I really want to see what you know they say it's a creative decision so i want to see if the creative decision actually is a creative decision or if that's just made up pr and you know the 60 fps is just the way to play it hopefully they're not lying because that's going to look even worse on them but i don't think it's going to take away from the actual game everything i've read about this game is you know is praises across the board some people, you know, some publications have tried to actually downplay a little bit, but I don't even think they could get away with it. It just looks that good. As for Gears, we can only wait until June to find out exactly what's going on, what's going to happen, if it's going to be there. I really hope it's not just like, you know, a 10 second teaser trailer. I want to see a meaty two minute trailer there for us to see what the game is like how it played you know well you know how it's going to play but i want to see you know gears in all its glory are you excited for gear 6 are you excited for hellblade 2 does the 30 fps bother you to me as long as the game is good the story is good and it looks this good there's a lot that i can actually you know sweep under the rug and accept obviously i still would like the choice and I think that's one of the issues that Xbox is having right now in not giving players the choice. Not, you know, at the end of the day, choice is good. Whether people act on it, play on it, use it is another matter, but give people the choice. They clearly have opted not to give people the choice. And if you do want to play 60 FPS, you do need to go over to a PC. But if the creative direction for this is to play in a cinematic filmic environment, then 30 FPS should be the target audience to get the best experience for this. So at least I'm, I'll be in a unique position to be able to test that theory when the game comes out. I'm super excited for Hellblade 2. I really enjoyed Hellblade 1 and I'm hoping Hellblade 2 is just going to blow me away. And as for Gear 6, man, this has now got me really excited for what's to come with Gear 6. If it's going to look even better than Hellblade 2, if it's going to look even better than Hellblade 2, my God, this is going to be amazing. Right, the tune showcase can't come soon enough. It really cannot. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Are you excited for these two games? Leave a comment below. Let's have that discussion. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell to stay up to date of all content I release, and I will see you in the next one. As always, remain legend.